Hello and welcome back to the FreeQMS channel. This video demonstrates how to invite additional users and configure permissions in FreeQMS. Only one person, typically the quality manager or designated representative, should sign up for FreeQMS to start. Log in to your FreeQMS account as an admin. Typically, this is the first user to sign up for FreeQMS. Only admins can invite additional users. A major design goal of FreeQMS is to reduce or eliminate the involvement of black box IT specialists in quality management. FreeQMS user management is simple and easy to use. Click the users icon. This video is updated for 2023 after being removed from YouTube. All user names are intentionally blurred, even if they are test users. Even using industry standard generic names such as John Doe was not allowed. You will see your normal usernames within your instance. The user screen gives a table view of every user in your company. There are no other secret hidden areas for user management. Click the Create User button to add a new user. Fill out the Create User form. Users must have a real email address to receive an invite link or take advantage of FreeQMS's task and notification features. Email addresses must be unique. This is an FDA 21 CFR Part 11 requirement. First names and last names do not have to be unique. If you have multiple users with the same first and last name in your company, we recommend differentiating by adding a middle initial. Let's skip permissions for now. We'll come back to this. Unless your company employs multiple divisions with separate records, default divisions should be selected. Take a note of the tooltips. Clicking the admin button overrides all permission settings. Admins have full permissions to all modules. The admin setting is generally only used by high-level quality management. Click the Create button. Users that receive an invite email will receive an email in their inbox. When they log into FreeQMS, they will be automatically added to your company. Let's log in as our new user. By default, new users cannot access admin areas and cannot access modules. We need to give our new user module permissions so they can start working with quality records. Let's go back to our admin account. Click the users icon. Let's give our test FreeQMS user 1 user some permissions. Click test FreeQMS user 1. FreeQMS has greatly simplified permissions compared to every other electronic system on the market. A design goal of the system was to create a permission system that aligns with real world use cases. Nearly all of our customers have three real world users a manager of a quality area that can create and edit records and create and edit approval cycles, a subject material expert that participates in an area of quality by editing records and participating in approval cycles, and view-only users, such as users on the manufacturing floor that only need to view records. It doesn't need to be any more complicated than that. Let's say Test FreeQMS User 1 manages our supplier program and sometimes participates in audits. This means Test FreeQMS User 1 needs full access to supplier records, but only need to participate in audit records created by our audits team. Let's take a look at supplier permissions. FreeQMS's permission levels are the same for every module, are validated, and match up with our identified real-world users. Here, we have the option to give Test FreeQMS User 1 no supplier's permissions. This means he cannot see the module. View suppliers. This would be appropriate for a user who just need to view the supplier records. Edit view suppliers for SMEs that need to participate but are not the manager of a quality area. And finally, create edit view suppliers. This is the perfect permissions level for a test FreeQMS user one, our supplier manager. Test FreeQMS user one needs to create new suppliers and manage approval cycles. Let's use this level. Now let's look at audit permissions. The audits module has the same permissions. As we said, Test FreeQMS User 1 needs to participate in audits created by the audit team and serve as an approver, but should not have the ability to create his own audit records. We'll give Test FreeQMS User 1 the Edit View permissions. Click the Update button. Let's log in as our Test FreeQMS User 1 user again. We can see that Test FreeQMS User 1 is ready to track some quality records. Click the Suppliers module. Test FreeQMS User 1 has the ability to create new suppliers as the supplier manager at our company. He can use the Create Supplier button to add a new record. Test FreeQMS User 1 also has the ability to approve suppliers. Test FreeQMS User 1 can select a supplier, then click the Approvals tab. 
Test for QMS User 1 can add an approval cycle to this record to approve the supplier. Adding and approving suppliers is covered in another video. Let's click the FreeQMS icon to return to the home screen. Click the audits module. Remember, Test FreeQMS User 1 is our supplier manager who has the ability to participate in audits but not create them. Notice the Create Audit button is missing from the top left corner. Test FreeQMS User 1 has the ability to participate in audits created by our audits team. This is typical for a real world subject material expert who is not a functional manager. Test FreeQMS User 1 can click the edit button to modify this audit. He can also add audit items or add regulations and standards. Let's click the Approvals tab. With the Edit View permission, Test FreeQMS User 1 has the ability to start approval cycles. He is considered an expert participant, but with a big caveat. Test FreeQMS User 1 cannot modify or cancel approval cycles once created. Only managers with the Create Edit View permission can modify approval cycles. This gives companies the flexibility to let SMEs participate in approvals without the ability to modify the cycle. Continue adding company users as necessary. FreeQMS places no limits on user count or licensing, even for free-to-use modules. Additional FreeQMS modules will share the same permission structure. As always, please feel free to reach out to us with any questions and we look forward to seeing you in the next video. Don't forget to like and subscribe.